Hello everyone, this is Pac Jeff. Welcome to the Toy Box, and today we're taking a look at the Bandai Movie Monster series, Mecha King Ghidorah. This Bandai vinyl figure depicts King Ghidorah in his final form from the 1991 film, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Right off the bat, one of the things I notice with this figure is just how shiny of a gold it is. Compared to a lot of other King Ghidorah action figures, the gold on this one just really stands out. It's very vibrant. Another amazing part of this figure is the head sculpt. These heads perfectly capture Ghidorah's look from that 1991 film. Some of the best head sculpts I've seen on a Ghidorah figure. Being a Bandai vinyl from Japan, he does of course come with a tag full of words that I cannot read. There's always the dilemma of should you take the tag off or not. Of the four Japanese Godzilla figures I own, two of them don't have their tags and two of them do, so I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. Being a Bandai vinyl, he does have articulation, but he doesn't have a lot. These things are more like statues than they are action figures, so he has no movement at the head at all, which I wasn't expecting any movement there. He can kick his little legs forward and back, but they're in this weird kind of V-cut, so you can't really do anything with them. Maybe have Ghidorah deliver a flying kick or something. Um, and then finally, the wings just kind of turn like that which if you buy this figure online it's probably going to be shipped like this to make it easier to put in a package and even though there's a very obvious seam line here at the tail the tail does not turn so that's all the articulation you're gonna get but for a character who doesn't even have arms it's fine it's more than fine but speaking of fine let's go to the size comparisons here's Mecha King Ghidorah next to Movie Monster Series Godzilla 2000, SH Monster Arts Godzilla Rebirth, a Movie Monster Series uh, 60s Godzilla, I think. I honestly don't remember what year this is. I think it's 68. Uh, all you hardcore Godzilla fans, comment below and let me know if I'm wrong. NECA 54 Godzilla, and the comparison I was the most eager to make. The Bandai Creations Ghidorah from GMK. And looking at these two, it's no real contest which one is the best. Sure, this one is going for the GMK look, and Ghidorah did look a little different in GMK. But this one's bigger, it has a better gold, just kind of... Just look at that. This, this one feels very muted. Like, I don't know, the gold on this one just doesn't look as impressive as this one. Well, the head sculpts on this one are just amazing and out of this world the head sculpts on this one aren't too great kinda looks like he's lost or confused he doesn't really know what's going on I'm also impressed by his size I mean just look at him he's much larger much larger he's not that bigger but he's still a little bigger than the Bandai Creations one hopefully we'll get a new movie monster regular Ghidorah hopefully based on the Heisei films and not GMK who knows, a man can dream. So overall, this figure is fantastic. For the price, you're getting an awesome looking King Ghidorah that scales very well with almost every Godzilla figure in this sort of scale line, you know. Now, I paid about... I paid about $17 for this on AmiAmi. I combined it with a lot of other things, so I don't know how much shipping on this was by itself. But I know people are already scalping this thing to hell on eBay. I saw listings going from, you know, $30 to $50. It's insane. Pick this guy up before his price goes, you know, crazy. Anyway, this has been packed Jeff. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm not done yet. Gotta look at this piece of shit. This is the Bandai Movie Monster series, Mothra Larva, which came out in the same wave as the Mecha King Ghidorah. And included in the wave was also a Mothra, which I did not pick up. I'm looking to pick it up soon, because I need a Mothra. But this Mothra Larva charged me about 8 bucks on AmiAmi, so can't complain. And I only called it a piece of shit, because it literally looks like a piece of poo. This is actually a really nice figure. Now, I'm not sure which Mothra this is supposed to be. I don't 
recognize this screenshot. I'm thinking Heisei Mothra, but a friend of mine told me this is GMK Mothra. Uh, I really don't know. What I do know is the thing looks nice. It is long. It has some nice under detail. It has a has a head swivel, which doesn't really mean much on Mothra here, but the thing looks nice. But how big is it? Well, let's find out. Size comparisons. Here she is next to the Movie Monsters 2000s Godzilla, the NECA 2001 Godzilla, the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Rebirth, and the only other Mothra I have, the Bandai Creations SD Mothra. So overall, for $9, you really can't complain. You're looking at like a lump that really doesn't do anything but look cool. For nine bucks, that's pretty fantastic. And then, you know what? I'm not going to complain because this is a pretty stellar Godzilla vinyl. Now, I just need to pick up the actual Mothra. Great. This has been the Toy Box. Thank you for watching. Cause I got Pac-Man fever. It's driving me crazy.